Hey, Romeo. Good boy, Romeo, huh? How are you doing this morning? Yeah. All right, guys, we're at the Color Breed Congress here. Today, we're um, entering in the cash challenge on ranch riding. Uh, we're pretty excited. This is Romeo's third show. And uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely looking like he's rested up and ready for the day. One little tip here I want to mention when you're saddling a horse, if you're in doubt of where it might go, bring it a little bit more forward and then slide it back. Don't do the opposite, put it here. See a lot of people make this mistake, they put the pad here and then they realize, oh, it's too far back and then they pull it and roll that hair up, okay? So you want to get that hair to lay down. So, I mean, if you know exactly where it goes, put it there, but if you're in doubt, maybe put it here and kind of shift it back into place. Oh, he would. He would. He loves modeling. Meeting people, giving people his signature zipper move. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if I know what I'm doing here. So the reason I'm only doing this is because I'm trying to be on camera. Normally my wife Jacqueline does all this stuff. So this is why it's really slow and awkward. I might have a bloody finger when I'm done, but she insists that I try to get a shot for you all. So here we are trying to pin the blanket and not my finger. Looky there. I can't get it here. <laughs> try it again. Even if I get it right, she'll say it's not square, it's not centered. Okay, here, then I'll be the commentary. Watch this. So, yeah, that's what happens. I try to put the number on after failing miserably. Now we have Jacqueline putting the number on correctly. See, we don't know that kind of stuff. We just put pads on, or numbers on pads, just so the judges know who we are, but it's hard to get it squared and right. Good to go. All right, so what I was talking about, that's how it's supposed to go. Something like that, nice and square edges. They have a, a live feed, so you can kind of see where we're at. So we're on 198 and they're on class 192. Um, so anyways, that's a pretty cool little thing to have here. Keep yourself updated at how the arenas are progressing as we're getting ready on this side. They got live feed that tells us what's going on inside the show arena. I'm going to get one of those tall chairs and she's going to be sitting in it and just be giving you instructions. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm not sure why I don't have one yet. Oh, no, you see? <laughs> 192. Boy, they're not moving along very fast is where I need to go. Three classes before we leave, before we head out that way.
Today we're going to be showing in the two rain. Mr. Piranha, you want to let that go, please? Thank you. I wasn't joking. So his owner has to get him new reins every couple months because he bites through them. I think you should bite them by the roll. It makes him look at you. Whatever makes him happy, right? Whatever makes him happy. Piranha here. There, Mr. Piranha's ready. So, I'm gonna go ahead and step him around a little bit here and get him going. I just got on him here. Walked him around the pen one time at a walk. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my training. So one of the things we have to do in our pattern is we have to canter to walk with no uh, steps at a trot. So you kind of want them to kind of scoot in the back end and then walk in the front end as they continue. So you're not looking for a big reining slide stop in the ranch riding, but you are asking him to stop movement in the back end and pedal at the front end a little bit. So to do that, I like to get them kind of, I do a few stops, completely stops, and then I'll catch him with my legs, I call it, and keep him going from canter and then walk. I'll catch him with my legs and keep that front end walking, okay? So that's kind of how we'll do that here on this clip here. And every warm up's a little different here, so I'll just jog him around here a little more on this side here. Another thing that we have to do in our pattern today is an extend trot. So we're going to go ahead and make sure our steering's good first. Don't get too close to my camera person here. And then I'll go ahead and ask him to extend. I'm going to liven him up a little bit more. This so I'll cluck on him and kick on him here. There. Make sure he rates back. Good. Try that again here. I like to post. Still a little, just a little lazy. I love that on these three-year-olds that he's asking me to push him a little bit. I'll keep going around here at the top end of my circle. Now we also have to steer at a trot. So I'll go ahead and come around this rail here, and then I'm gonna ask him to turn sharp while he's extending. So do it again. Feel like extend a little harder. Good. Now I'm gonna come around this corner. I really like that. That was good, it had good rhythm. He had good flow there. Really like that one. I'm gonna ask him to stop here. Ooh. Good. So anyways, uh, I'll do a few more of those perhaps, and then we'll get into the canter to, the walking part. It's always the fun part with Sharon the arena, everybody gets to get along, so had to kind of stop there. All right, now I'm gonna push him here. That was much better. Ooh. There he goes. That was a much better stop there much more in tune. Second one of the day, I like that. So our pattern is we got to trot up to a pole that's laying on the ground. This is going to be your third and final call for class 198K. 
Cash Challenge Ranch Riding and All Ages. Side pass. Again, this is your third and final call for Class 198 Cash Challenge Ranch Riding All Ages. Off the log. Boy, he was on point. He's he's right where I want him. He is right where I want him. I'm gonna probably play it. Yeah, I know. I'm probably gonna play it a little safer, just because there's more shows and he's he's. But mentally, he is. I mean, he is right now. Perfect. We are ready to go to town. All right, so here we got Romeo here that's just a little bit stuck back in his turnarounds. So I'm asking him to turn a little harder. He's sucking back just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna walk him out of it a little more. There you can kind of see him suck back. I'm gonna push him out of it a little bit. I'm gonna set him again. There, he was much better. There, it was much, much better. So we'll try that again. We're ready to go in here in a few minutes here and. He's just a little bit sucked back, so I'm gonna ask him to turn again. Stay free. Stay free, good. Push him again, set him on the ground. Push, there he goes, steps up, very soft. That was better. Lay my hand just a little bit. Put my outside leg on him. Good boy.
All right, guys, we just came out of the pen. We're super excited. We were unanimously first place under four judges, also first place in the NSBA. Uh, had a really good run. Um, again, Romeo's three years old. I thought he did really, really good. There's a couple times in the pattern I kind of had to help him out a little bit, so I love this two rein setup. It allows me to kind of aid him a little bit, give him a little support. Um, it's very normal for these three year olds, younger horses, to kind of need a little help throughout a pattern. So, as a rider, you definitely want to be open-minded to that and realize things are just going to happen out there and you're going to need to help them. So other than that, he, like I said, he did a really good run and we're super excited for his bright future ahead. How do you, how do you, how do you feel about Romeo's first big win? I wanted to cry. <laughs> she wanted to cry. <laughs> she wanted to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo's growing up. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us at the 2022 Congress here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, the future's looking bright here for Romeo, and stay tuned, more to come.